am not representing the House of Representatives today. Hindi po niyo may aalis sa akin na medyo magdamdam rin ako. So, I am not defending the Speaker. If this investigation will find out na siya po ang nagpondo, I will politely ask him to step down. Kung yung three reports is voting separately or not. Is, yep. ma Madam, Madam Chair, yes, wala I po tayo. Tama, tama observation ni Attorney Marcoleta, but, but that cannot be forced. On, only to change your mind three days later, Mr. Uh, Senate President. Did I ever say, for the record, did I ever say I'm no longer pursuing this? Please cite the record that I said. I will no longer pursue this. Well, it's in the yes. in the privileged speech I, I heard. Oh, by no. one of you. No, no, no. I'd like to make like, uh, misconception of my dear friend, Congressman Mario Poleta. But, Madam uh, Chair, right I'm now, I can see all my colleagues jumping out of their seats uh, to contradict us. But let's not hijack this hearing. Let us Correct. proceed with... He should listen Madam to Chair. us. Uh, I, uh, I'm raising a point of listen order. Listen, may I know from the Chair if uh, Attorney Anthony Abad uh, was invited? And is yes. he around? Is he yes. around? He was invited, but uh, yes, regretted. Yung pangalan niya is very, very visible doon sa form, yung petition form na pinapakita nila. So, can we insist on inviting him? O yes. kung ayaw niya magkatin, ipasampina natin, Madam Chair? Yes, I think we'll have to consider that. But like you said, uh, Senator Bato, his uh, name is very prominently displayed yes. on siya, the form. Yes, he, he is the face of this uh, brouhaha. So, he should, be, he should present himself. Otherwise, well, usually ito magiging inquiry natin kung hindi natin makita yung tao na nandoon sa nandoon sa papel, sa form. So can can we subpoena this uh, person, Madam Chair? Madam, Madam Madam Chair? Yes, Congressman Marcoleta, please. I am happy that Senator Bato raised this question because right. this is the gist of the entire inquiry. Anthony, uh, Attorney Anthony A. Abad appears to be the proponent of this initiative. Kagaya po ng sinabi ninyo, Senator, bigyan ng katauhan ang nagpasimuno nitong politicians' initiative. Earlier, Madam Chair, the House of Representatives, eh sila po ang nagiging parang kontrabida dito. Uh, I am not representing the House of Representatives today. I was personally invited by the beautiful chairman to appear, to appear in this committee. But, as a member, hindi po niyo may aalis sa akin na medyo magdamdam rin ako sapagkat ang patutsada ay patungkol sa House of Representatives, lalong lalo na po yung Speaker. I'm not defending the Speaker. If this congressional hearing ultimately find or found that the Speaker is the one who spearheaded this or funded this initiative, I will probably request him to step down. Pero kung hindi po siya naman, bakit hindi po natin kinoncentrate kay Anthony Abad? Siya po yung bida dito eh. Siya po ang pinakasentro nito. Siya ang nagsasabi dito na pinaliwanag niya sa tao. Nagsabi po ng mga tao, we fully understand the rationale of this proposition, we fully understand the consequences, the effects, and the advantages of this proposition. Gusto nating malaman, talaga bang ginawa niya single-handedly, although et alito, but to undertake and to mobilize an undertaking nationwide to be able to get at least 8 million votes. Kaya po ba ng isang tao? Why don't we begin with Anthony Abad? Who is see Anthony yes. Abad, based on uh, the Google, Madam Chair, he specializes in international trade law. He has been in legal practice for 17 years, and he is at present an independent advisor of the Philippine Senate. May, may no, uh, Madam Chair? Um, Nasa Google po. At kung sino, nakalagay din po sa Google, he, he took his oath before the office of Senator Aquilino Pimentel. Nasa Google po. Kaya kailangan po nating makita lahat eh. Sa Google po yan. I was also shown that picture, pero hindi ko ma-date eh. Mukhang bata pa kami nun eh. So, <laughs> so must have been uh, years ago. And if we are talking about the, that, if he is also that Anthony Abad uh, named in the signature sheet, so we are assuming a lot of things. Pero, 
right now he's not uh, a consultant of my office but uh, so papakilala pas pasiputin natin itong Anthony attorney Anthony A Abad so Drupal A yes, attorney uh, Anthony A Abad so para malaman po natin and uh, if that person uh, uh, seen in the picture taking an, an oath before me if he will admit that he is the one then uh, we're talking about the same person no? but uh, he's not a consultant of my office, so I don't think he's also a consultant of, of the Senate. Wala is. So maybe that was really part of his bio data. Siko once upon a time, baka nangyari yun. So, and then, uh, since nandito na rin tayo sa topic na ito, the burden is all with uh, Attorney Anthony A. Abad because yes. no other lawyer can file that petition and claim that he is he or she is under that et al. Hindi po pwede yun. So it's only uh, if, the, if the signatures are genuine, and real and then freely uh, given, it is only this attorney, Anthony A. Abad, whom they have authorized to file the petition. No person, no, no lawyer can claim to be et al kasi hindi siya pinangalanan. So that's my, that's my theory. Kaya we really, I agree with Congressman Marcoleta, we really have to identify who is, pero ko, medyo common name kasi yan, there might be more than one uh, Anthony A. Abad, who happens also to be a lawyer. So yes, yes, we need Senator, to look for this person. Start, we can start with him. Yes. This is an A4 sheet of paper. That's right. Ten signatories per seat. If Anthony Abad is out to get 8 million votes to satisfy the threshold of 8 million, this is the requisite of the People's Initiative, he will need 800,000 pieces of this A seat. Nakita ko po yung pinag- Nakakuha ko ng isang rim nito. This paper was imported from Indonesia. This is 70 GSM. I want to ask Anthony Abad. Kinuwenta ko po kung magkano eh. Siguro about 1,500 something rims. Half a million pesos, ito pala mong papel. Ipiprint mo ito, palagay mo na lang dalawang piso. 800,000 seats at 1.6 million plus 500. That's about 2 million Maybe we can ask questions directly from this guy. Hindi yung mga nakatakipang muka. They're so brave enough not to be able to expose their, their faces in the public. I'm sorry, Mr. Senate President, but I read your, your rules of evidence. If the substantive rights of people affected in this hearing, they should also be protected. How can we, for example, confront the accusers if they are all masked? Hindi po ganito. I am not defending the Speaker of the House of Representatives. I will repeat this. If this, if this investigation will find out na siya po ang nagpondo, I will politely ask him to step down. Pero alimbawa po kung ito'y ginawa ni Anthony about out of exasperation, out of frustration, because I think for the longest time, the House of Representatives have been inviting the Senate to meet with us on a constituent assembly, and the Senate repeatedly refused us. This is on record, Madam Chair. Kahit kailan po hindi natin magagampanan, hindi natin magagamit yung isang modality to change the Constitution, which is the constituent assembly. Every time an invitation is issued to the Senate by the House, ang answer po, that dead ma. So, kailan po natin gagamitin ang Constituent Assembly? We cannot. It's impossible. Sa so, sinasabi ng Senate, well, ang dami pong ano eh. Okay, bago kami maki makipag-meet uh, sa inyo, you will have to agree that separate voting. Ganun po palagang nangyayari. Ito po ang nangyayari. Ako po matagal na sa Congress. Kung hindi ako nagkakamili, Madam Chair, panahon pa po ni si Speaker Belmonte, pinag-iisipan na natin to Restrictive economic provisions, blah, 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 blah. But we never agree just to meet. Alam po ninyo, Madam Chair, ang pinag-uusap lang, mag-meet lang po tayo. Tsaka na po natin pag-uusapan kung yung three ports is voting separately or not. Yes, Tam ma Madam, Madam Chair. Pero, yes, wala I po think tayo. That... Tama-tama observation ni Attorney Marcoleta, but, but that cannot be forced. If the Senate does not want to to amend the Constitution through a constituent assembly, the House cannot force it. Ganun lang po yung da, as simple as that. So therefore... Uh, no, no one is forcing, Senator. Precisely, precisely. So 
Uh, there should be no complaint kasi we are two autonomous bodies. Ayaw nung isa makimit sa Constituent Assembly. The so, complaint arises from the fact that you do not want to meet with us. Madam so, ang Chair. question, how can we how can make use how can we make use of that particular yes, modality? Oh. It is the first modality. Yes, yes. The pres that means that the present composition of uh, both houses cannot avail of that mode kasi ayaw nga nung isang house makimit. So, Ano na po yan? That's a political question, gamitin okay, sa madam issue madam sa election. Madam Pero the, uh, our problem with the PI is yun na nga, therefore, therefore we suspected uh, some politicians to be behind the PI because ang tinutumbok ng People's Initiative is the procedures of Constituent Assembly That's right. and changing changing the natural meaning of that section, uh, that's uh, Madam Chair. So that's, that's and that. So with all due respect yeah, yeah, flow, to uh, yes. Congressman Marcoleta, that's likely a subject of another, another hearing meeting, and Chair. another meeting another and meeting. perhaps a uh, more uh, uh, confident and uh, benign meeting of the minds at another yes. time. Ma Madam Chair, uh, Madam right Chair. now, I can see all my colleagues jumping out of their seats uh, to contradict <laughs> us, but let's not hijack this hearing. Let us Correct. proceed with the uh, next witness who has very kindly come from the province of Batangas. Yes, po, uh, Madam, Madam, Madam Chair. Chair. Salamat, Madam Chair. Madam President, Madam, Madam, Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Can I be recognized, I've been acknowledged Madam by the Chair. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Madam Chair, may I proceed, Madam Chair? Madam Chair, may I proceed, Madam, Madam Chair? I'm sorry, Madam I, I it's thought right. the Congressman Madam was Chair, escaping. No. Yes, uh, uh, thank you, Madam Chair. He should listen yes, to Madam us. Chair. Uh, I, uh, a point of order, Madam, uh, Madam Chair, if I may proceed, I've been acknowledged already. As a priority, Madam Chair, under our rules, Madam Chair. Uh, yes, the point order uh, precedes all I, others. I, yes, please. I think, Senator Madam Chair, Rato we should uh, discuss the matter at hand. Uh, it has something to do with the name Anthony Abad, whether we should subpoena him or not tomorrow or in the next hearing, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, we expect a ruling from the Chair. Yes, thank you yes. very much. I think that's now become a motion, both from the Minority Leader as well as Senator Tolentino. And uh, we acknowledge uh, Senator Ontiveros once again, who has the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I join with the Chair in the observation that she raised that uh, the good representative is opening up a, a different issue. Uh, gusto ko rin pong suportahan yung sinabi na ng Senate President that the rules of the Senate will allow our brave witnesses uh, to speak their truth to the committee. Mas matapang pa nga sila kaysa sa mga nagtatago sa likod ng isang law firm. Ayaw aminin sino nagpamudmod ng forms. Ayaw aminin sino nagpalatala uh, ng isang TV commercial. But I would like to return to the question of uh, Attorney Anthony A. Abad. May nakikita naman po akong at least tatlong uh, resource persons mula sa PIRMA. Perhaps, Madam Chair, uh, the PIRMA resource persons can confirm if they indeed engage the services of Attorney Abad, Madam Chair. Um, just for the safety and security of our witness who's here in person, if you will allow, pakinggan muna natin yung uh, ating uh, testigo at pagkatapos nun, balikan natin ang uh, ating mga abogado pagkat uh, uh, marami po sa ating mga kasamahan ang gusto magtanong rin sa kanila. Salamat, Madam Chair. I submit and then I will await the answer of either Attorney Avisado, Mr. Onyate, or Attorney Gana about Attorney Anthony A. Abad and his relationship with PIRMA. Thank Salamat. You. Agyamanak, Madam Chair. Thank you for your forbearance. Maraming salamat po. Nais kong tawagin yung uh, testigo na personal na dumayo rito. Uh, nais mo bang uh, basahin ang uh, basahin ang uh, salaysay mo sa nakiusap sa iyo tungkol sa pagpapapirma? May sasabihin po kayo kasi ang sabi rito ay uh, ang uh, kapitan ninyo hindi kaalyado ng mayor at ng congressman ninyo. Kaya, ano ang nangyari? Paliwanag, uh, ipaliwanag po ninyo, please. Uh, good afternoon po, Madam Chair. Uh, Your Honor, um, dumating lang po kasi yung form sa amin. Tapos tinanong sa akin kung para saan yun. In-explain ko lang po dun sa kapitan kung para saan yung form. Tapos kahit siya ayaw niyang pumirma kasi uh, ayaw, niya, ayaw niya nun. Uh, tapos po, inuto, inutos lang po sa barangay health workers na ipapirmahan yung gusto lang pong pumirma. Saan galing yung form sa pagkaalam ninyo? Kasi kalakit nun, di ba, may listahan daw? Gal, galing po sa LGU. Galing sa mayor or sa congressman? Sa kong congress po. 
sa opisina ng kongresista yung listahan. Opo. Tapos, pinadala yung listahan kasama nung formularyo, yung form na pinapapirma. Ganun ba yun? Form lang po yung nakita ko. Paano mo alam kung sinong papapirmahin? Uh, sinabi lang po na kailangan pumirma lahat po ng dun sa barangay namin. Ah, okay. Pumirma naman kayo? Ako po, eh, hindi po ako pumirma, pati po yung kapitan. Bakit? Ayoko po. Bakit ayaw ninyo? Hindi ninyo maintindihan dahil English? Um, ay, ano po eh, naintindihan ko po, pero uh, yung ibig sabihin nyo, kaya ayaw ko pong pumirma. Ah, okay. So ayaw ninyo na paltan yung saligang batas, yung voting uh, jointly, at uh, iba pa? Opo. May sinasabing perang ibibigay ba? May narinig po ako. Ganon. At uh, may nabigyan ba ng pera doon sa mga pumirmang hindi katulad nyo? Wala po. Tumanggap pa yung mga BHW ninyo? Wala rin po. Wala naman. Pero yung kapitan ninyo, pinangakuan ba sila? Hindi po. Hindi rin. Tapos, uh, ano pa yung uh, masasabi mo tungkol dito? Palibasa siguro yung kapitan hindi kaalyado ninyong mayor at kongresista. Tama po ba yun? Opo. E naintindihan ba nung mga kasamahan ninyo o kabarangay ninyo yung pinipirmahan nila? Hindi po. Ang alam po nila ay ayuda. Alam nila ayuda. Kasi yun ang pangako, no? Opo. Sino nagsabi na ayuda yun? Yung BHW utos ng uh, City Hall? Ganun po ba? Yung perception lang po siguro nung mga nando. Kasi parang nagte-trending na po kasi siya. Tama. Trending na na may ayudang kalakip yun. Opo. Oo. Tapos, uh, linilista ba yung mga pangalan nila? Sa alam ko, wala, hindi ko po alam kung nililista po. Pero marami bang uh, pumirma doon sa barangay ninyo? Konti lang po kasi nung sinabmit po yon dahil may deadline daw po, binalik po kasi yung forms kasi kulang daw po yung mga pirma. Ano yung deadline? Kasi sinasabi daw, uh, ang presidente daw ang nirarason, tama ba yon Opo, yun po ang sabi. Ano daw ang kinalaman ng presidente dyan? Uh, ang sabi po is utos daw po yun ni, ng presidente. Ano ba? Utos daw po yun ng ni BBM. Utos yun po BBM. yung exact word. Ay, ganun. At uh, sumusunod lang sila. Opo. Eh, kung utos ng Pangulo, ba't hindi ninyo sinunod? Meron po akong freedom of choice. Okay. Recording in progress. Sige. At uh, yung mga kaalyado lang ni Mayor ang binigyan ng pera, tama ba yun? Hindi ko po alam. Ah, kasi meron nagbanggit ng two katulad nun. May dadagdag ka pa? Wala na po. Bakit ka takot? Ba't ka nagtatakit ng muka katulad ng sinabi ni Congressman Marcoleta? Babalikan ka ba? Pwede po. Nino? Kasi po, hindi ko po masabi dito kasi matitrace po nila ako eh. Pag sinabi ko po yung dahilan. Ganon. Pero opisyal? Opo. Mga opisyal, babalikan ka dyan sa lugar ninyo. Opo. Sige. May maidadagdag ka pa o yung mga kasama ko may katanungan po kayo? Yes, Senator Pato, please. Uh, Madam Chair, This is a, not a question or a resource person. Just would like to inquire if uh, it was ruled by the chair that Antonia Abad will be issued some pina for the next hearing? Yes, I think uh, motions were received and uh, certainly by... we have uh, resolved to uh, send a subpoena to the said attorney Abad. Although I think information was sent to this committee that he has flown overseas. Overseas? Yes, sir. Okay. Madam Chair, dagdag lang ko konti, Madam Chair, no? I just would like to react to the statement of uh, Attorney Rodante Marcolita. Uh, Congressman Marcolita. Uh, kung sinabi po niya, Madam Chair, na siya na sasaktan dahil para bang alluded to yung buong uh, lower house na sila ang nasa likuran nitong, uh, nitong uh, People's Initiative. Ako rin ay nasasaktan. When he alluded, no, when he alluded uh, the Senate as the Uh, opposition palagi ang dahilan kung bakit hindi natutuloy yung, uh, yung uh, economic chatsa. Ako po'y gusto ko'y parating, uh, Madam Chair, na in fact, during the last Congress, kaming dalawa ni Senator Tolentino, nag-file kami ng resolution for uh, economic chatsa. And uh, nagbabago po yung uh, composition ng Senado at pareho na rin sa lower house, nagbabago rin yung composition. So hindi po rin masabi na kung nag-upos sila ngayon, mag-uupos na yan forever. 
Eh, nagbabago po. Kami po ni Sinu Tolentino, nag-file naman ng uh, resolusyon. Kaya masakit po sa amin kung sabihin niya, naglalahat niya na ang Senado ay uh, ayaw sa uh, cha-cha. Kami po, nag-propose. So, yun lang po. Gusto ko lang liwanagin, Madam Chair. Again, uh, he is a good friend of mine, na uh, uh, Congressman Marcolita. Well, there's nothing personal about, about it. Gusto ko lang riparating sa kanya. Yung mensahe na kami po ay pro-chatcha rin, lalong-lalo na pagdating sa economic reforms. Madam Chair, can, we can simplify this. Maybe we can have a stipulation. Can the Senate stipulate that of all the initiatives taken by the House to engage you as a constituent assembly, all these initiatives have been refused. Wala pa tayo, hindi pa po tayo nag-meet. Uh, Madam Chair, Madam Chair uh, as Senate President, as the leader of this institution, I can categorically state that we have not refused uh, any measures. As a matter of fact, I filed uh, last week RBH6 which is to discuss economic uh, provisions of the Constitution. So, only, only to change your mind three days later, Mr. Uh, Senate President. Did I ever say, for the record, did I ever say I am no longer pursuing this? Please cite the record that I said I will no longer pursue this. Well, it's in the yes. in the privileged speech I, I heard oh, by no, one of you. No, no, no. I'd like to correct uh, misconception of my dear friend, Congressman Marcoleta. Uh, we are just fighting this PI first because this PI, this put, this... Uh, fake people's initiative is going to undermine the processes of uh, voting uh, during the discussions of constitutional change. Hindi po kami papayag na makapon ang Senado kasi mawawala po ang bicameralism that is stipulated five times in our Constitution and uh, provides for the checks and balances of our institutions. Yun lamang po. Wala po tayong pinag-aawayan kundi itong PI kasi uh, alam mo, sa totoo lang, Madam Chair, and I, we're going, we're veering away from the topic here. Yes. But uh, really quickly, kung yung point, yung people's initiative, kung linagay po nila dyan, sino bang mga proponents dyan, kung linagay ng pirma dyan to amend the, uh, for example, public services to allow 100% foreign ownership, sa tingin ko walang gulo eh. Pati sa amin, walang aalma. Yun ay napakasimple. That is a uh, right given by the Constitution. Pero hindi. It's a very simple question to vote as one, but it is very, uh, it is full of uh, 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 hidden meaning and it will open a Pandora's box that we can no longer come out from. So, yun lamang po, Madam Chair. I just want to vote for the record. We have not categorically said no to amendments to the Constitution. As a matter of fact, I met with the President and he said, let's discuss the economic provisions and stop this PI. He told me this yesterday, and I'm saying this for the record again. I gave that uh, speech in, the, in Congress as a personal and collective privilege, but I'll say it again. The President said, stop this PI, it's getting out of hand, and focus on discussions on the floor on how we can improve the Constitution through uh, uh, the amendments to the economic provision. You Madam Chair, you Madam Chair, point of order. Yes, thank you very much. I Madam listened Senator intently to the distinguished Senator. chairperson when she enumerated the basis for this inquiry, which is basically PI. Well, I know this is a spirited debate that has been going on between the House and the Senate, and we have two excellent debaters here in the person of Congressman Marcoleta, um, Senator Bato, and SP um, Zubiri. This will have its proper time at another um, inquiry and yeah. um, meeting so that we can focus on the witness and also our Resource numerous person. resource persons who took the time out to be with us um, this morning, with the indulgence, of course, of uh, my dear colleague and friend, Congressman Mark Lett. I, I agree, Madam Chair. So, ang tinatanong ko lang po na kung meron tayong ma-stipulate, sapagkat totoo naman hindi pa tayo nag-meet as a constituent assembly. That is, that is a fact. From all the invitations we had given to the Senate, wala pa pong nangyari doon. Ito well, po yung totoo. Pag-usapan natin. So, ma maaaring ngayon po mangyari na. Pero ang, ang sinasabi ko, for the longest time, the hands were extended to you to meet with us on a constituent assembly. Yung mag-usap lang tayo. And then pag-usapan natin kung voting dyan, separately natin, or voting jointly. But let the process to proceed. Yung mag-meet lang tayo. Eh, Napagaganda na po siguro ang simula yun. Thank you. Mr. Senate President, Madam Chair. Thank, Thank you. you po.